what's up youtube right i got some interesting horses for you tomorrow away from the service bets i'm going to give them out i did do a big live stream on facebook there now check that out as well you can still watch that but just to touch on some interesting horses for you tomorrow excuse me smash the like on the video and we'll run through these right the 505 of wolverhampton aeroplane mode very very interesting tomorrow I did think he ran really well the last day when looking like he'd a bit more to come. Sisters in the sky in the three o'clock at Wolverhampton. Definitely an interesting runner. Had some okay back form. Looked good in Goodwood one time. Found a bit of form the last day. Low grade race. The 320 at Weatherby Coupe de Corps. Could be interesting. He won a maiden. He was third in a maiden before that. He's into a handicap off a mark of 108. Seems fair. Uh, any horse that wins a maiden once and runs well in a maiden before 108 is definitely fair enough and uh, Coupe de Cour could be progressive enough to win the last in Weatherby 257 at market raising a horse called Animal we landed a big bet in the service with this at 8 to 1 in Sandown only up £4 could be very very interesting definitely worth a go if the exertions of sandown hasn't bottomed them and then in the 12 15 at sedgefield i did like the favorite here it travels up from wales for evan williams it has some really solid form but it is six to four i thought halfa solil number one could run well at 13 to two maybe a little each way but the right favorite has a real good chance i'm sure but he's six to four and then a very interesting horse is mr van gogh in the 128 at wincanton i'd way to the off of this race i wouldn't back the horse unless it was strong in the market right at the off returning from a break could be very interesting for the brad stocks but wait till the off if he drifts don't back him uh the 345 in wincanton it's a breeze really nice pedigree really nice colors paul nichols will be looking to get this horse off the mark cost plenty as a three-year-old uh, definitely interesting with a good jockey getting five pounds off so if he's anything like paul nichols's other bumper horses with a good jockey he's getting five pounds straight away in hand with freddie Jin uh, ginger and then i'm going to give out a double as well just it's short enough but uh, two favorites for pleasure in the first race and ha holando in the last race of fontwell dylan johnson rides the boat so dylan johnson bookend the card first and last race double interesting facts tomorrow mickey hammond had plenty of runners could be worth following and john joe neal jr heads to sedgefield for a book of ride so it mightn't come away empty-handed i do have some really nice bets for the patreon service tomorrow if you want to get them link will be below there is a new option as well you can sign up it's one payment of 70 euro to paypal or revolut it, you get six months of tips and you pay every six months one payment of 70 euro it really is great value and just a lot of people were looking for a separate option from the patreon if you want to sign up to the patreon it's 12.99 a month for all the best bets and like i said i have some cracking bets for tomorrow we're on an absolute heat or 23 winners so far this month and looking forward to hopefully holding our own on a very tricky day tomorrow all right thanks for watching cold bear sports take care and happy christmas